Okay, here we go with the task in the second semi-final between Ajay and Kalyan Macha. This is Subo. I'll be the referee for the match. I will do the task right now. Okay, who's going to call? Uh, Kalyan Macha has won the task. He's going to take the strike. Okay. 
Tani will be the official scorer for this semi-final. He's listening to my heart. And um, I'm going to start in a few seconds. Timer is being set.
Print out by Ajay Arora. First board in favor of Ajay, one white caramel on the board, four points for the board. Yes, my name. Yes, my name. Yes, Board number two, game number one, Ajay to play. Green covered by a guy.
Second board, game number one in favor of Ajay. Six black points on the board. Ajay took the queen. Nine points. First, first game, first board, Dean Joshin breaks four, two against seven. Split. Single. At the end of um, game number one, board number two, four, Ajay, 13, and Kalyan, set to score. Board number three, half Kalyan to break. Half Kalyan to break. Okay. 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 Okay.
Hopefully has a good chance, good opportunity to close this out. He needs to cover the coin with one black coin. It's a slightly tricky because they're not aligned properly. Unfortunately he misses, so the queen will come back on the board. <laughs> Kalyan is going for it. The first watch should be pretty straightforward. But I think he's going to try and release the black in the process. And he does a very nice touch in the second white. Unfortunate miss. I'd say it gets the turn to finish the board. He will get one point. Because Kalyan took the point. So at the end of board number three. The score is 14 in favor of Ajay Kalyan has yet to score. This is the best of three games. Each game is 25 points or 3 votes, whatever happens first. And we are watching the 28th US National Scarum Championship. I had a very nice break. Sometimes males play a big role and in what seems to be a pretty straightforward coin to be pocketed, players often miss. I just playing a pretty steady game, not showing any nerves. Trying to figure out how to make way for the queen. He's likely to pull it to his base. Nicely done. Kadan really needs to clear some black coins and pull the queen to safety. Very nice job of putting the queen in a spot where it's uh, relatively safe.
covers the queen but he still has a long way to go there is plenty of black points on the board and Kalyan is going to try and clear them up one by one I attempted to pull the pocket the black on the top left and did not succeed Ajay is thinking of playing a defensive shot by pulling the black to his face to buy himself a turn. The reason Ajay is doing that is because he doesn't have a clear shot on his white. The white is blocked by the black so he's trying to figure out how to get himself an extra safe turn. Kalyan defends the white queen trying to pull it into his base. Nicely done. So Ajay finishes the score again with one point. So the score would now be 15 points to zero. Four boards up. We're going to play eight boards or 25 points, whatever happens first. And this is one of the two semi-finals being played in the 28th US National Scaling Championship single semi-finals. The other semi-finals is being played between Sarvan and Babu, a uh, 10-time US, uh, US National Champion, versus Deep Joshi, a former player of the Indian national team. Fail break unfortunately for Kalyan but he's got a pretty good positioning of the coins so that will help him. It's not easy for Ajay to release but he's going to try and use this coin to release a couple of black coins on the opponent's base. It's been a long road to the semi-finals for both of these players. Uh, Total of about 150 players have participated in this tournament. They played nine rounds of Swiss round robin yesterday, followed by a pre quarterfinals and then a quarterfinals this morning. And now we are watching the semi finals. The winner of this match will go on to play the finals against the winner between Sarvanan Babu and the Joshi. Ajay is of course the current US Nationals Champion and ranked number one in US. Kalyan is a very very strong player, uh, excellent pocketing, good strategic game and an energy to watch when he's uh, on a roll. Kalyan covers the green, plays a defense shot on the black. Ajay has a tricky situation, his uh, top right pocket is blocked with a white. He realized that and 
pocket it that wide just to free up some space to pocket at least two or three black coins that are blocked. I it's often a strategy employed by players to pocket an opponent's coin, although it may feel counterintuitive. But pocketing one blocking coin sometimes helps release three, four coins of your own. So the trade-off is worth it sometimes. You're watching the 20th US National Scaling Championships being played in New Jersey. Here on day three, we had the doubles event played day before yesterday. And yesterday, we had a number of singles games being played to decide who the top players will be. And now the top players are facing off in an elimination or knockout. We are currently watching the semi-finals being played between Ajay Arora of Pennsylvania and Ankalyan Macha of Texas. Both are playing really good. Ajay is uh, playing very consistent strokes, not missing any open coins. He should be able to pocket these two black coins. The last one will be a little tricky. Let's see how he gets there. We have a vernacular car key. If somebody is missing a vernacular car key, please contact me. Is he going to try a hook? No, he tried to push the black into the pocket. Uh, did not succeed. That's a nice finish by Ajay again. He gets one point, and the score should now be 16 points to zero with five points up. Kalyan has a bit of an uphill battle to come back in this game, but it is not impossible. A 16 point lead with only four boards remaining is a sizable lead, but having said that, it is totally achievable. Ajay to break, break number 6. So we have 3 more boards to be played in this game. Ajay is leading 16 points to 0 which is a very very healthy lead. Kalyan will need to get a couple of big boards to come back in this game. Ajay to break. Both are very very strong players. They are excellent pocketers. You uh, know the board can read the game really really well, both positions, when to play offense, when to play defense. That's a lovely break by Ajay. a rare miss by Ajay. Uh, it was a relatively straightforward coin but somehow he missed it. Gives Kalyan a chance to come back. Kalyan really needs to pocket uh, all the open blacks and then figure out how to release the ones that are clustered in the center. And he's also keeping an eye on the queen since he needs a big board to come back at this game. He, he must pocket the queen in this board otherwise he, he will fall behind queen is worth three points so it's very important that players don't give an easy queen to the opponent they are always trying to make sure the opponent doesn't have a easy chance 
on pocketing the queen and right now you see I just thinking about how to release the queen possibly by pocketing one of the white coins Kalyan plays a nice defensive shot, pulls back the white coin from the base, just making it a slightly more difficult for Raja to pocket that. Kalyan is in a bit of, of a spot here. He's trying to figure out if he should play an offensive shot or defensive shot. As there is an opportunity to pocket two more coins and reduce the risk of losing this board by a huge margin. One thing he doesn't want to do at this stage of the game is to give Kalyan a big board with lots of points so he can come back and is doing exactly that. Very steady pocketing by Ajay is displayed consistent consistently good pocketing throughout the throughout the tournament. And by pulling the queen to his face he is putting pressure on Kalyan. Nicely played. Don't know if it's good enough. Ajay may still want to take a shot at the queen, but only after reducing one more coin. He is likely going to try and cut that queen on the top right pocket. Shot to pocket the queen, cover the queen doesn't succeed, unfortunately. Ajay has an excellent chance to close out this board. He's going to try and pocket the queen in the top right pocket, follow it up with the cover in the white. Nicely done. As I pocket this coin, it's going to be virtually impossible for Kalyan to come back in this game. Unfortunately, as I misses, so the queen is going to come back on the board, and Kalyan will have one more turn to salvage four points if possible. But it's not going to be easy. He has three black coins in difficult positions, and on top of that, he has to 
make sure the queen is safe. I just want to go for a center shot on the top left pocket. Succeeds in pocketing, has a fairly straightforward cover. And he makes it. That brings up the score to 20 points after 5 boards. So, after 6 boards. So, we only have 2 boards remaining in this game. Ajay is at 20 points. Kalyan. Oh, Ajay is at 22 points. And Kalyan is at 6. So, theoretically, it is possible for Kalyan to win this game. But that requires him to win. 24 points, 23 points, 12 plus 11. So theoretically, you can get a maximum of 12 points on the board. Uh, if you can manage to pocket all the whites and the queen during the break. It's called a white slam. Uh, but at this point, it's a bit of an uphill task for Kalyan. But let's see if he's up to the challenge. Ajay is of course going to focus on reducing coins as quickly as possible. Pocket all the easy black coins first. Try and pocket the queen. Made it a uh, easy one, unfortunately for Kalyan. And now Kalyan is going to try and pocket the, the the easy ones first, and then focus on the cluster in the center. He has three difficult white coins to pocket. I think he is playing it safe, putting them to his base. That is a good move because now he has two easy white coins and a somewhat difficult white coin in the center. Let's see how Ajay works on reducing the number of black coins in this board. He did manage to make one base white coin difficult for Kalyan, but I think he's going to tackle that one last. Focus the one. Uh, this is a little tricky. Kalyan chooses to play it safe, pockets the black, so it makes it easy for him to pocket the white coin in the next turn. I'd say might play the center black point to the left top pocket. It's, it was slightly risky. Uh, First game, last goal. Servant W Blade scores 17 against 18. No, that's an unfortunate yes. miss by Kalyan at a crucial stage. But if you do the math, I think both players have realized that Kalyan cannot come back in this game. The maximum number of points he can get in this board is 8. And then there will be 14 points gap or a lead that Ajay will have. Uh, so for all practical purposes, Ajay has already won this game. It's a best of 3. So even though we are at a score line of... 1-0, uh, we're going to play uh, another and possibly a third game as well. Kalyan will need to come back and win the second game to take it to a best of three. So Ajay wins the first game, 22 points to 7, and they're going to start the second game very, very soon. My name is Manna Chaudhary, and I'm bringing you live the New York Live 28th US National Skyrim Championship being played in New Jersey, USA. 
we're watching the semi-finals between Ajay Arora of Pennsylvania and <coughs> Kalyan Mancha of Texas. Ajay is, it's a best of three game. Ajay is up 1-0 and we're about to start game number two. Each game is 22, uh, 25 points or 8 points, whatever happens first. And in this case, we saw in the first game that Ajay got an unassailable lead of 22 to 7 with only one board remaining. Practically sealing the, the, the chances of uh, Kalyan coming back in the game 1. Let's hope Kalyan can take an early lead in game 2. Uh, sometimes when, when you get an early lead against your opponent, it puts the opponent under pressure. And... Uh, Tournaments like this are very different from playing carom at home where uh, nerves, I mean, when you play at home you're focusing on skills, you're focusing on pocketing, but in a tournament game it's as much as of a mental game as, as a game of skills. You're trying to create uh, game situations where you put pressure on the opponent and, and often uh, that that has an effect, an adverse effect on, on, on the skills of a player. If you're under pressure, your pocketing looks harder than it should be. And then a big part of what players do at this stage is figure out ways to not just make it difficult for the opponent to pocket, but put them under pressure uh, where their game will falter. So, in that sense, Karim is a, as much of a mental game as a game of skill at this, uh, at this level. And we're watching the top US players play each other at the 2024 US Nationals Championship. A lot at stake. Uh, some of the top players playing in this tournament will eventually make it to the US Nationals team that's going to play against all other countries, Caribbean playing countries in a World Cup. World Cup 2024 scheduled to be played November 10th to November 17th in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, California towards the end of this year. Game 2 is about to start. Ajay will take the break in this game because in the previous game Kalyan broke first. Having a break does give a significant advantage to the player. Uh, when you take a break you play the white coins but you also get the first turn and you get a chance to line up the coins favorably and if you have a good successful break you can often pocket 5 to 6 coins fairly easily uh, so so having a good break is crucial and that's why you see players taking a fair amount of time trying to line up and rack the points properly First game in favor of Ajay and the second game Ajay to take the break.
I had a decent break. He's going to focus on reducing points. Um, that was a difficult coin to pocket, but he had to try it anyway. it carries three points That is very nicely played by Ajay. He has an opportunity to take a big board with a lot of points. One difficult white coin on the left. Unfortunately misses that one. Kalyan tries to play defensive shot, succeeds partially. But it's still the board is in very much in favor of Ajay at this stage. He has one easy coin, one slightly difficult coin. I think he's going to attempt the difficult one first because the easy one is blocking Kalyan's black coins. Kalyan really really needs to win this game and win a couple of big boards. He is down one board to zero. This is a best of three. And Ajay already has a lead of seven points going into game two. But it's Kalyan's break and he definitely needs to have a good successful break and capitalize on it to get a big board. Let's see if he can make that happen. He's, he's racking the coins as we speak.
back online after some technical difficulties we are watching 28th US National Scarum Championships played in New Jersey semi-finals between Ajay and Kalyan it's a best of three Ajay won the first set we are watching the second set now with Ajay leading 10 points to three after five boards a maximum of eight boards will be played in each set so this is board number six in set number two Kalyan has to win this set in order to take this to a tiebreaker set Ajay is playing extremely well not missing much he's always been a very very consistent player and uh, he is the currently ranked US number one and he's definitely showing his class in this game as well Ajay is playing a very cool, calm, collected game, showing no nerves at all. Kalyan is of course an excellent player, but right now, looking at the score line, he's got to be under some kind of pressure, even if he's not showing it. That coin pocket hit, Ajay is going to start focusing on the queen. It's not an easy one to pocket, so he might play a defensive shot by pulling the queen to his base. Ajay has two easy blacks. Well, one easy black, one slightly difficult black, but the queen is the key. He plays a direct defensive shot on the queen to bring it to his base and Kalyan will promptly try and bring it back. Nicely done by Ajay. He has a very easy cover. He is He's going to decide if he wants to play a rebound or a double touch on the black. He chooses the double touch and pockets it. Almost pockets it. Kalyan is going to try to squeeze that white coin into the gap. Does it successfully? That's a very well played shot. But he still has a couple of difficult coins stuck to the frame, one on the side, one on the base. So he chooses to go for a defensive shot to buy himself a turn. That's a difficult punch shot, but Kalyan is lucky that it got blocked in front of a black coin. 
but Ajay is able to push that very nicely and win the board. Again an uphill task for Kalyan, he really really needs to get back into the game with a couple of big boards. He is lagging 3 points to 16 in set number 2 and unless he wins this set there won't be a third tiebreaker set. So at this point Ajay definitely has a healthy lead and he's going to try and seal the deal by trying to win or at least minimize the number of points in this crucial 7th board in set 2. Ajay to break leading 16 points to 3. Board 7, set 2. Ajay is leading 1 set to 0. So this board is a make or break for Kalyan. Unless he wins this board and with a huge margin, uh, the match is all but over. a good break and that does not board well for Kalyan because Ajay has at least five or six white coins that can that he will should be able to pocket fairly easily and and reduce the possibility of Kalyan getting a big board very steady play by Ajay consistent pocketing no display of nerves showing why he is currently ranked US number one. And just focusing on reducing white coins on the board so that even if Kalyan wins this board, he won't win by a huge margin. Ajay has a healthy 13 point lead and he wants to make sure that Kalyan doesn't have a way to catch up even if he wins this board. Kalyan on the other hand is going to try really really hard to win this board and win with as many points as possible so he can go into the last break of the set with an achievable target. Nicely played by Kalyan. He still has one black coin stuck in the opposite frame. He's probably going to try and pocket that one next. No, he chooses to play a tough shot successfully. Now the queen. And if he pockets the cover and pockets the last black coin, that will give him some breathing space. Excellent shot by Ajay. He misses the last coin that gives a little bit of breathing room to Kalyan. Now he gets four points, so seven to sixteen. We are watching the twenty eighth US National Scarum Championship being played in New Jersey. We're watching the semi-finals between Ajay Aruda and Kalyan. Uh, 
It's a best of three sets. Ajay won the first set and he's leading 16 points to 7 in the second set. And this is board number 8. Uh, Kalyan has his back to the wall but he still has a fighting chance. He needs to win this last board with 9 points. I think the players and the referee are discussing something probably related to time or something else. But it's Kalyan's break and he needs to win at least 9 points in this board to go into a tiebreaker or 10 to win this set. Ajay is going to try and reduce as many black coins as possible to deny Kalyan a board of 9 points or more. To get 9 points there need to be 6 black coins on the board. If Ajay pockets this one, the game is all but over. We have 5 black ones on the board, so theoretically Kalyan can only get a maximum of 8 points, which means uh, he falls short of the target that he needed to win in this board. So for all practical purposes, unless something weird happens, we're going to see Ajay as the, as the victor in the semifinals of the US National Championships. He'll move on to play against the winner of the other semi-finals being played between Deep Joshi and Sarvan and Babu. Rare miss by Ajay. Kalyan is going to try and do a deep cut. Now he tried to play a connection. Ajay played a nice defensive shot. Kalyan will pocket the last coin but uh, he still falls short of the target with that Ajay wins the semi-finals mm -hmm. of the US National Scaram Championships and moves on to the finals of the game he is obviously very very happy and grateful uh, having reached this far and uh, he's been he's played excellent throughout the tournament Kalyan unfortunately uh, couldn't quite match up to Ajay in the semi-finals and uh, he had to go down 0-2 in the best of three. Uh, this is uh, your friendly commentator Panna Chaudhary signing up and we'll meet you again in the finals uh, to be played in an hour and a half from now. Thank you for watching.